please introduce yourselves. I'm Susan. I'm Julie. I'm Shanna. Chris. I'm Nicole. Alicia. I'm Kathy, the photographer. Hi, my name is Candace, and today I'm going to tell you about three songs that represent me. These three songs could be the soundtrack to my life, each for different reasons. The reason why I like these songs are going to show you in the explanations. The first song lets me understand my feelings. The second song takes me back to who I used to be. And the, th the third song tells me of who I want to be with my love. The first song I'm going to tell you about is a song called Girls Just Want to Have Fun. It was written by Cindy Lauper. It's a song about having a good time, probably a girl's night out. My mom used to listen to this song often, but I think that she chose this song to play to me because she wanted to show me that along with responsibilities in life, you have to let loose and have a little bit of fun. Every once in a while, things come along, people come along, and sometimes places come along that try to take you away from who you are as a person. But in this song, if you let it love you like you love it, you can find yourself because girls just want to have fun. And it's a great karaoke song. In addition to teaching me fun and uplifting ways of life, my father also taught me that you have to know who you were in order to know who you're going to become. It's with the song Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison that I found out how much my dad truly loved me. In this song, we used to dance together. And as a little girl, I thought it was a literal sense of I'm his brown eyed girl. But now as an adult, I realized that each time we danced, I got a little older. Time started to pass a little bit further away. And in this song, he reflected on me as a child and how much I meant to him and how much he loved me. And now as an adult, when we still hear the song, he can go back to me as a little girl. He can love me the same, but I'm a big girl now. As many things as my parents have taught me, my husband has taught me a lot too. He's taught me about passion. The passionate side of my life that I learned from my husband can be displayed through the song, Can't Wait Another Minute. And that song by the group High Five, it talks about a man meeting a woman, falling madly in love with her, and not wanting to waste another minute until he gets her love. That's how it was when I met my husband. I loved him so much and so passionately, I didn't want to let him go. Even through all the hard times we've had, the trials and tribulations of our relationship, the ups and downs of our marriage, things still can always wait, but your love cannot wait another minute. If you don't let someone know you love them, time fades away, people go away, and you may never get that chance again. So there you have it, three songs that represent me, three songs that tell you a little bit about myself, who I was, where I was, and where I am now. Things that tell you a little bit about love, life, happiness. And if I can leave you with one thing, it would be a legacy of love more, have fun, and for crying out loud, be yourself and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Thank you.